Get ready for another long wait for your tax refund. Officials from the Department of the Treasury have warned this could be another frustrating season for filers. Local financial professional John Vandergriff from Blue Ridge Wealth Planners joins us now with more details. So again, John, it's going to be another one of those kind of sit and wait. So, so why this year? Yeah, so the IRS is backed up. But yeah. both from the lack of workers, but also from the fact that with all the changes that happened in 2020, uh, 2020 which is the year sure. they were working on last year, uh, they had 35 million unprocessed returns, which is about four times the normal wow. that they will have uh, each year. And so you have that, and then, like we said, with an undermanned workforce and more changes, it creates a lot more problems in the pipeline. So then is there anything that we can do now to maybe maybe help speed it up a little bit or just help things out? Yeah, so the first is filing electronically okay. should help. Yeah. You know, a lot of the people that, or systems and even locations that process paper returns don't exist anymore. So that'll add to a little bit of the timeline. Uh, setting up direct deposit for your refund will yeah. make that process a little faster. And so making sure that you utilize a lot of the systems. The other is making sure that you are not having any errors, which, mm -hmm. you know, if you're utilizing a TurboTax that you're doing yourself, sometimes that happens. Right. Uh, so it may be good to pay a CPA, yeah. make sure that you're able to do that because that will complicate and make that process a little longer. The IRS is if you follow those three, you should get your refund in about a three-week time frame. Okay. But obviously, if there are any issues in those, it could take much longer. Okay. And you and I were talking in the break. This is an interesting strategy here. I know everybody's like, well, hopefully I'll get some money back. But you're saying maybe come closer to maybe breaking even could benefit you here in the long run. Yeah, because, you know, we talked last week about behavioral finance. Yeah. Mental accounting is something where we treat money different. And so when people get tax refund money, they almost treat it like it's free money. Right. But really, that's money you could have gotten each paycheck if you would have filled out your tax withholding correctly. And so the average refund right now is $2,800. Okay. If you were getting paid every two weeks, that would be an extra $107 that you would have hit your bank account after taxes oh. uh, that you're, you're losing out on in every paycheck. So trying to get as close to zero, maybe even owing a little bit yeah. or, or maybe having a little refund is really the goal so that you can have as much money stay with you as you can. All right, something to think about. And then real quick, just how do we not blow our refund? I know you talk about people will get 2800 he says the average. Yeah. How, what's the best way? What, what should we be thinking when we get that money? Well, it's best to have a strategy for that money before you get it. Yeah. So try to set up a savings account, you know, whether it's building emergency fund, looking to save that toward the future, or... If you've accumulated any debt because expenses were more with inflation sure. last year, trying to pay that down, all three of those are good uses. It's just trying to put that to something that is going to have some staying power, I think, is the real key and not just blowing it because, like we said, sometimes people treat it as free money, and free money disappears very quickly. <laughs> yes, so. it does. Yes, it does. That's why we call this segment Smart Money. Right, that's Got to be smart. All right. John, as always, we appreciate it. All right. All right. Lori, back over to you. All right.